Hi, I'm Phil Harwell, and this is my 13th video talking about 1950s British science fiction paperbacks. Now, over the years, I've learned that uh, these vintage paperbacks are very popular with modern collectors. And the reason they collect them today is probably many and various, but I'm sure the main reason they collect them is for the cover artwork. Here we see one of the most admired and collected cover artists, Ron Turner. Certainly, he's my own favourite 1950s artist, not least because he was the main illustrator for the science fiction novels written by John Russell Fern. Just as in America, J. Allen St. John became associated with Edgar Rice Burroughs, so in Britain in the 1950s, Turner became associated is the artist that illustrates John Russell Fern's stories. Now this interesting fact was the subject of this article which I wrote for Spaceship Away magazine number 37. Now then in the 1980s I had the good fortune to meet Ron Turner's greatest fan John Lawrence whom Turner had recently appointed as his agent. John soon became a good friend of mine, and thanks to him, I was able to commission new artwork from Ron myself, and often in collaboration with John, to seek new publishers and outlets for his work, especially comic strips. There we see the the credits, myself and John, adapting uh, a John Russell Fern novel of the 50s, illustrated by Ron Turner. Uh, many of these uh, graphic novels were, were uh, serialised in Spaceship Away, and this particular issue has a, th has a third episode of uh, that story. You can see the excellent artwork of, of Turner, really getting into the, the flavour of the Fern stories. And uh, this particular uh, reprint has been uh, coloured by uh, Martin Baines, uh, which really enhances them. Martin's a fine artist in his own right. There you can see how, uh, how well Turner could adapt to any John Russell Fern story. Now then, I thought it would be a good idea if I could get Ron Turner covers for all the Fern science fiction books that Turner had not illustrated on the first publication. I thought many of these covers were inappropriate. And so, with the help of John Lawrence, I was able to commission lots of new covers. Here we can see a selection of some of these covers. Decoration, Skyen, 1952, had a rather mediocre cover because it didn't illustrate the story at all. It's by artist Roger Davis. But I was able to have it reprinted with a superb new illustrative Turner cover for Fantasy Adventures number two. Here we see Will the Conquer, uh, Skyen, 1952. This had a very poor cover by Norman Light, but when I had it reprinted, I was able to use this splendid new Ron Turner illustration for Fantasy Adventures number three. I've got some more covers. Here we see Man and Duplicate, Sky in 1953. It's had a fairly interesting cover by John Richards. But this was completely eclipsed by this brilliant illustrative cover by Turner for Fantasy Adventures number four. This book, Cataclysm, Sky in 1950, had a good cover by Philip Mendoza, but that was far surpassed when Ron Turner illustrated the same story, which I had uh, retitled as The Black Terror for its reprint. On to the next. A set of covers. Here 
Here we see Z formations, published by Curtis Warren in 1953. It's had a rather dreadful Gerald Fiercy cover, which Turner greatly improved upon when the novel was reprinted in Fantasy Adventures number seven. Uh, finally, for this section, Other Eyes Watching, Pendulum 1946. Now this had a very modest post-war austerity cover by Bob Wilkin, which Turner greatly improved upon. Wildside Press have also issued many new paperback editions of various fur novels and here's a selection of just some of them that featured brand new Ron Turner covers. The Intelligence Gigantic. This was originally a 1943 hardcover from World's Work and had a cover by W.J. Roberts. But as you can see, this cover was actually reprinted from an old 1937 edition of Tales of Wonder magazine. An illustrative story, albeit a fun story, but it had nothing to do with the Intelligence Gigantic. So I wanted a new cover when I had the book reprinted. So here we see the new cover, which I commissioned from Ron Turner for this Wild Side edition. Next section of covers coming up. Miners of Time was another World's Work hardcover, uh, published in 1947, but this again reused a Tales of Wonder cover that had nothing to do with Fern's story. It's a W.J. Roberts cover, very nice, but it didn't illustrate Linus of Time. So when I had it reprinted by Wildside, I commissioned a new Ron Turner cover. It did a slap-up job as usual. Next look at covers. Now then, Science Metropolis is a bit of a problematic book because it's the poorest of all the Vorgostat novels. And for this reason, I determined that I would never allow this edition to be reprinted. Originally, the story had been a serialized novel in Amazing Stories in December 1937, entitled Zagrabud. But Zagrabud was in fact a sequel to an earlier Fern story in, a, in the same magazine in 1935, Liners of Time. And unless you'd read Riders, Liners of Time, Zagrabud actually made very little sense. Now this problem was exacerbated when it came to Science Metropolis because this was quite a long serial, about 60,000 words, and it sky and couldn't fit it into the 128 page format. So this was abridged, heavily abridged. Tens of thousands of words had to be cut out of the story, uh, which is terrible. So that's why I won't allow this book to be reprinted. However, I hit on the idea of reprinting the magazine serial, not the abridgment, the full version as Zagrabud. And here we see the result. I have a splendid new Ron Turner cover uh, and Zagrabud was returned to print. Here we see the Dust Destroyer, Sky in 1953, which you may, may remember my saying was the first uh, Vargostat novel I ever read and was featured in my first video. Now, John Richards uh, did the original cover, but this was greatly improved upon, I think, by uh, Ron Turner, when I had it uh, reprinted with a new cover for this Wild Side edition. Next up, we can see here, The Red Insects, published by uh, Skyen in 1951. And this had a rather nice uh, Philip Mendoza cover, but I've replaced it with this terrific new Ron Turner cover for its Wild Side edition. Slaves of Ajax, 
That's the next one we're taking a look at. This was a Kena 1947 uh, paperback edition and had a rather mediocre cover by H.W. Pearl that Turner was able to greatly improve upon for his uh, Wild Side edition. Next up is The Trembling World. Uh, this was first published in uh, 1949 by S.D. Francis. And as you can see, it had a truly dreadful cover by Philip Mendoza. Asked to draw a spaceship. He did that, but it looks like a battleship, not a spaceship. It's an awful cover. So I had Ron Turner do this more illustrative cover. Uh, and this cover, I think, is a, is a minor masterpiece. Next up, we have Across the Ages. Uh, this, this is another sky in 1952, Borgo Stat novel. And it had a mo moderately attractive cover by Norman Light, but Ron Turner greatly improved upon that with his cover. And I also took the opportunity to restore Fern's original title of Glimpse for this reprint. Next up is A Thing of the Past, which was also featured in my uh, earlier videos. And this had a great cover by Philip Mendoza, but I think Ron Turner surpassed him on his uh, reprint edition. Finally, come to the time trap. Now this was a 1952 Sky in edition, and it has an absurd cover by Roger Davis. There's no spacemen in the story at all. It's nothing to do with the story. So Ron Turner's uh, cover was the answer. And this is a particularly beautiful cover, I think, by Turner, one of his best. Now this particular edition is actually a double novel book uh, featured on the reverse uh, side uh, Starhaven by E.C. Tubb which was a 1955 novella from authentic science fiction never reprinted before so it's the world first edition and I was able to use a recycled Ron Turner cover. Unfortunately it seems nobody bought it. It was ignored by collectors and so Wildside have discontinued their double novel books. Now of all, all of these uh, Wildside editions, some of which we see here again, they should be available for collectors to buy online but if you have any difficulty in obtaining a copy of any of the titles you fancy just drop me a, a line, send me an email. I have a few spare copies I'd be happy to sell to any genuine Turner fans.